Anyways, um, of course you know me. I play uh, if you know me, I play Savin on P99 Green. Just hit uh, level 20 with my uh, Necromancer. I um, played back in 99 to early 2002, and then I just recently came back to um, EverQuest. So one thing I was having a problem here on Linux is an issue with uh, the mini music. It doesn't want to play in wine. Um, what has worked for some people is to install direct sound onto wine. However, Microsoft hasn't been producing direct sound in a long time. Um, so for me, it doesn't work very well. It causes a lot of issues. And my understanding of the sound quality is just garbage with it anyways, if it does work. So been playing around with fluid synth now fluid synth does have a um, it does have a front end on it uses a, a C API um, and Q synth the front end is written in and QD QD6 so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try to make a build for Q synth um, the the GUI for Windows that way Windows you users can also take advantage of fluid synth without using the uh, command line and I may even set up a, like a batch file or something on Windows that will call fluid synth directly that way if you don't want to use the QSynth front end and have it open at all times that you can uh, do that uh, that method as well and just have it run in the, in the background nice and silently the um, I'm, I'm trying different sound fonts here um, this one here uh, the OPL3 is um, as described as a sound font designed to simulate the classic MIDI sound of the Sound Blaster 16 and other YM262 enabled hardware. So I'm running this with a reverb and a chorus off. I've got the gain set at 1. It's like from 0 to 5 and has like a 0.1 float. You can use on that. Um, using through the ALSA because my system MIDI sounds a little better coming through ALSA a little louder and um, my uh, MIDI source is the ALSA SEQ which I'm not sure whether it's between ALSA raw and SEQ is, um, that may be have it running through Pulse I'm not sure exactly on that it was I got it running into the, in, have it set up to run as a background process here. So I'm going to try this uh, OPL3 here in EverQuest in uh, Project 1999 in green uh, without the uh, reverb and chorus and I already have that presently running here in the background under this process so it's just a case here of just uh, logging in
All right, the um, that sounds a little bit muddled, and maybe that's how sounds did sound way back when in Sound Blaster 16. Let's run this one again. I wasn't getting uh, any sound at all because I had two running at the same time. <laughs> so the second one probably uh, crashed out on me. So we'll uh, try this again with Reaver on and having the other process killed. Maybe it should have been. Sounds a little better, um, but I'm not too happy with it, honestly. So, um, so I've sound, heard a you know a lot better MIDI back in the '90s. Um, at least, maybe not better, just what I'm more used to. So let's try um, the Fluid GR or the Fluid R3 GM, and. Uh, of that one here and uh, we'll go ahead and start with the reverb and a chorus on and see how much better that sounds for us here I like how that one sounds uh, quite a bit better and this is the one that uh, is designed for fluids or one that's generally packaged with fluid synth or is generally used with it um, or an arch it comes with a in a separate package fluid synth sound font and what we can do here is go ahead and let's say no to this put on the reverb and the chorus Let's get the gain up just a little bit higher. Let's do this to 1.5 on the gain. I run that back down as before. Let's uh, give her another shot. Let's see how it uh, it kind of comes out.
of liked it a lot better without the reverb, of course. It sounded a lot more natural. Um, so, wow, that so far that's that's been my favorite here is the Fluid uh, Arch 3 GM, which is sound font 2 file. Um, and there's others that um, I found on here, and. Uh, I have a located um, this editor here. Heaven Sound font. This is the one here that uh, used the uh, the first time. It's a grand piano. It's just a uh, the Git version of Fluid Synth. Symphony Orchestra. Sound Funk Fat Boy. Let's check that out. And uh, what I'll do, I'll probably just download directly from um, source location. So we'll just uh, just pull this over here, and it is. Located at Fat Boy. Um, there it is. And let's go here. The package source location is here. Just what it claims to be. An SF file will be just fine there. And um, I'll just put it here in builds. And uh, put it there. Put it south. So I should already get that location. And uh, file so what we'll do is just do uh, let's go into so let's do this before on that um v0 and without the uh, course and reverb and we'll go ahead and run our epic quest
the um, that one was okay. But we can definitely uh, try some others here. Dropbox here. Um, let's download. And then, uh, this is and then uh, we'll it right now. And then, uh, And let's try that. Yeah. I was going to try and see how well that sounds for us here in the afternoon. Or not bad. Playing with fluid synth last night, I kind of came out with a uh, kind of how I want to run it in the background. And we can actually just run the shell. Let's just enable, remove the, the dash I here. Let's go ahead and put the gain to 1.5. Let's go and turn on the uh, on the reverb and on the chorus. And I'm just going to use, uh, put it directly to your uh, home directory. And uh, let's do build with Seth and uh, what's that GM? We'll uh, try that here. So this here shell, you can actually do like a set the game to you know, 1.5 or you know however you want to do it. I think the command line does it one to zero to ten, and this does it zero to five. So I don't know why there's a difference there, but we're going to go ahead and, and run it that way to run it in the background and see how uh, this new sound font uh, kind of comes out. And of course, we can also use Q synth the uh, here.
is not too bad. And this one here is only 22% download. <laughs> I kind of like that last one. Um, I'm kind of digging it. Let's uh, disable the um, the reverb and the uh, okay, so we just do an op on that one or boolean one zero and let's give it another shot here. Yeah, that was not bad. I'm going to look for some more sound fonts and uh, see if we can get back to it the way it really sounded, kind of a 99 on uh, Windows 98 SE. Um, but, and I'll see if this one here sounds a lot different once it finally <laughs> gets its download done. I can, let me just run that download in the background here because uh, that's, that's going to take, uh, that's going to take forever, man. And, uh... <laughs> Wow, I should have um, suppressed the uh, standard output, but yeah, the uh, <laughs> yeah, that is a, a very very slow FTP server. It might be uh, running on a 56k modem here, but uh, hey, these people provide provide this stuff for free. These sound fonts um, use very non-restrictive licenses, and that's why it's on the Archuser repository. So. You know, I, I, I can't complain. They they, uh, they do all this for free for us. Um, so we're trying different things in EverQuest to make it sound better. And what I'm going to do, and this is kind of a project uh, I'm going to work on here, is uh, Fluid Synth actually has a Windows 10 build. And I actually have a uh, link to it right over here. And uh, if you just look up uh, Google Fluid Synth GitHub, just go over here to releases, and um, we do see that there is a Windows 10, and including Windows XP build. So uh, Fluid Synth, of course, is the is the um, command line utility. Once you have it set up the way you want it, with all the uh, proper options and arguments, then you can put it into a script file, like a batch file, for example have it run before you start EverQuest. Pretty much everybody starts uh, Project 1999 or any EQ emulator server uh, with a batch file. So that way you can, just, you can just throw it in there, have it run without a GUI, have it be on your uh, system. But this, I'm gonna sh kinda show you what uh, QSynth looks like. And it uh, actually looks pretty nice. And of course, you can activate the uh, reverb controls. Gives you a ton of reverb controls and chorus uh, type of controls as well. And it can make these sound really, really nice. And you can even look at the various um, sound fonts here. These are the ones I have installed with that, but I can put any other ones. And you can even look at the um, the various instruments that it's using when it's playing. Um, you see the you know the keyboard, the strings, the horns, all that stuff as they're playing. You can change them in real time uh, to something else that that exists within that uh, sound font, and so you can really kind of uh, play around with it and change things a lot here in EverQuest. So, anyways, I'm gonna take the um, the Fluid Synth build, uh, depending on its license and what that license requires, um, put it like in a zip file with a batch or a batch file already set up and then what I'm gonna do is um, QSynth does not have a Windows build in fact it doesn't have a build for any operating system it uh, you have to, that's uh, they have to build it yourself 
uh, much easier to do on a Unix-like type environment like Linux uh, because you're probably going to have uh, you know CMake and everything, so you can actually build um, Qt programs. But Qt does have a way of building on Windows, and since Fluid Synth includes the um, the libraries it needs for the API for QSynth, because I don't think QSynth works directly with Pulse. If it does, that could be a problem because Windows is a totally different sound system I, that I'm not familiar with. But as long as it just interfaces directly into FluidSynth, then I should be able to make a Windows build. So you can use that that GUI, have a batch file ready to go, with FluidSynth ready to go, um, including the sound fonts. Yeah, zip it all up with the license files and uh, include it, or make it so you can put it directly into the uh, your EverQuest EQ emulator um, directory that you use to connect to EQ emulator uh, servers and all you have to do is unzip it and then run it and then you can uh, change it change the, 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 the sound file so um, also including that a, uh, a pre-made config file so you can uh, change the sound fonts directly in there and set up the uh, the call uh, arguments and options to automatically look at that config file so that'll make it very easy for Windows users to get a lot better um, MIDI performance or a lot better MIDI sound, which everybody deserves on, on EverQuest because the sound nowadays on Windows 10 for MIDI is just, is just horrible. And um, it sounds nothing like it did in 99. I'm going to look at some more sound fonts. Um, there's some others that are licensed, uh, so that would be a problem, you know, just redistributing that. But any that are unlicensed, or not unlicensed, but have a, a more permissive license, such as GPL, MIT, um, BSD, uh, CC um, attribute, and so forth, if it has a license like that, we'll get something set up so everybody can get good good music in EverQuest and do so in very easily. You don't have to, uh, you know, to be an expert in the command line of how. Uh, connect to different audio drivers and all that. I'm not an expert in doing a lot of the audio stuff myself, so I've had to kind of read some documentation a little bit on that, how that works. Um, anyways, that's about it right now. I'm just uh, trying out the different uh, sound fonts for the MIDI. And uh, thanks for watching the video. I know this one's kind of long and uh, kind of more technical, but uh, we're going to make this where it's not technical. It's going to be very easy to use, and it's going to sound so much better in EverQuest. Thanks for listening. Y'all have a great one.